Okay guys, um, I'm not in the office. I've been traveling, as you can clearly see, and welcome to my Pixel 6 Pro long-term review. Now, I wanna thank our sponsor of this video, Ugreen, for the 100 watt charger, which was absolutely vital on this trip. And since I'm in the UK, yes, you will see Saf, Tom, and a few others in this video, because I'm gonna be asking them their thoughts on this device. This is a long-term term focus. Uh, Pixel 6 Pro, latest from Google, the top tier device. Um, it's got a ton of features. Uh, the camera has some really improved stuff, which we'll take a look at. But the first thing I wanna look at is the eSIM capabilities, because it's vital for me right now on this trip. I have my other devices with me, but the fact that I could pop in an e, uh, my eSIM with Google Fi, and honestly, Google Fi is an underrated service. It's not sponsored anything. Uh, I used it when I, my trip to Nigeria earlier this year. I'm using it here. It just recognizes in any country, and I start using it right away. I've got LTE connectivity, and that has been really vital and cool. Now, I'll talk about a bunch of other stuff in the video, but let's focus on the camera. So I'm in Leicester, the United Kingdom, uh, here to see Super Saf. We'll see him later in this video, but I'm just walking around using the front-facing camera and showcasing some of the beautiful, kind of like downtown scenery in Leicester, just past the Jollibee. Uh, great food there, by the way. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's look around. It's early in the morning though, and it's cold. Okay, so I'm sure you guys caught some of it, but walking around, I found this uh, toy store called Vintage and Old, and here's what I got. This, uh, I don't know if you guys can clearly see it. Kang the Conqueror, look at that. It's amazing, um, some really cool toys. If you're in Leicester, definitely look for vintage and old. They've got some really old toys, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I just had to plug them in because it was just fun to see like old GI Joes and uh, a bunch of just like transformer toys and toys from the 70s there. Really cool, cool spot. Um, but yeah, battery life. So. How is battery life, especially while traveling in a different country, you, you know, all that stuff. It's got a 5,000 milliamp battery. And I thought that would be okay. And, you know, I've been using this device for a month. I've been using the US and as well here in the UK. And my battery life is not great. And I think it has to do with connectivity uh, with the LTE radios. That is just my final assumption because um, it just drains really fast. And 5G, some 5G, it is absolutely horrendous. I have not experienced anything like this and I hopefully they can fix it. I'm not sure, maybe because of course, this is the first time Google is not using a Qualcomm chipset. So they don't have a radio from Qualcomm either. If I'm not mistaken, guys, let me know. But this could be that downside of not having a Qualcomm LTE radio. We kind of saw this with Apple a few years when they uh, were trying to do their own, they didn't go with Qualcomm. So, maybe you guys should kind of do something. I'm just pointing that out, you know, but because of that tremendously bad battery life, that's where something like our sponsor Ugreen comes in. Now they've got this 100 watt charger. This is a GAN PD charger. And why I love this charger, I absolutely love it, is because I'm on the road, I'm traveling, I've got a bunch of devices here, but I can charge four devices at the same time. It's got three USB Type-C ports and one a USB Type-A port, which means I can charge my devices. I don't have to carry multiple chargers, uh, which is great for a long-term tri trip. Now, the first USB-C port allows you to charge, uh, the first two allows you to charge up to 100 watts in total capacity and the third one is up to 22 watts. Now this highlights the advantage of using the Ugreen 100 watt GNA charger because it's faster, it's safer, better heat dissipation, smaller, durable and eco-friendly. So whatever devices and phones I have, I can fully charge them including my Nintendo Switch or even my Surface Laptop Studio. So I like the fact that I've got that ability here with this device and it's really cool. Definitely check it out in the link down below. If you're traveling, this is, this is a lifesaver.
So your thoughts on the Pixel? It's, it's a good phone. I, I like the Google experience. The camera is really good, but there's definitely room for improvement. Battery life is one area where I think things could be better. How much do they pay you though? <laughs> not enough. <laughs> Clearly not enough. Uh, video could be better. And uh, center is the cameras, which I think will improve with software. Displays the right fingerprint scanner. So, I think most people will be fine with the Pixel 6, but if you really want that high refresh, like the 120 Hz and the extra telephoto lens, you're going to want to go for the Pro. But for most people, I think the 6 is fine. Bullshit. You need to step in and get yourself a Mate 40 Pro and get used to HMS Live because it's peak. Have you thought about the Huawei app gallery? Because no one else has. It's good. It's good. I like the camera. It's nearly as good as the iPhone. It's nearly as good as the oh, iPhone. Someone's about oh. to get a ticket. Um, but the battery life is banging as well. So it's a good phone. It's good. Really? I like it. I like it. Tom. Um, no, no, I mean it's Tommy though. Sorry, my bad. The other guy, the guy, Stephen. Vtech, Vtech, Vtech. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a great device. I, I really love the design because um, it's been a long time coming for Pixel to have Google to have a good design. Uh, camera's great as well. Battery's been good. Uh, what else is there? Um, Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, I just generally love the device. It's great. Great screen as well. 120 hertz. Can't go wrong. Saf, Saf, do you agree with that? Do you like the battery life on the device? It's all right. When I'm on a mixed bag. When, I, when I'm on Wi-Fi, it's fine. As soon as I'm on 5G, it, it goes up very quickly. Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. The things that I love. I love the hardware. I think it is the best hardware that Google's made in a very long time. It feels very fresh. Material U is awesome. And Android 12 really does make a great experience on this. And the cameras. I do love the cameras, especially during the day. And with the 4X optical, it really does put it in line with all of the other flagships out there. So I do love that. Now, out of that love comes some hate because when it comes to night mode or night sight, it really takes a while to expose and sometimes you could be exposing for about four or five seconds and it can cause some blurry shots so with that big sensor it doesn't make any sense why it's exposing so long so right now the camera is really good but i think with a couple of updates it's going to be even better so the battery life hasn't been so good for me so far so i guess that's another dislike so as usual the voice to text is incredible it's when you're when you're talking to someone and the, the Google keyboard is doing the voice dictation, it works so well. Uh, being able to edit on the spot, fantastic. Um, the telephoto lens on the camera is exceptional, very good. Added add in their image processing works really well. The camera itself is solid. I wouldn't say it's anything exceptional works really well as you'd expect but either way both of them you get a solid phone and still hits a price point lower than other flagships out there uh, things I like about the Pixel 6 Pro the cameras are awesome I really like the full-time uh, photo we were worried that like their processing wasn't gonna be as good as their new sensors but it seems like they did a pretty good job oh my biggest complaint honestly is well there's two things one the battery could be better i came from like a pixel 5a and that was insane battery life and so we were kind of hoping for that here it's not horrible but it just feels like it could be better also the biggest thing is with the price of the pixel 6 is the pixel 6 pro worth the extra like 300 dollars and i don't know the answer Okay, you guys have heard from every single YouTuber I found on the strip and you've heard all your thoughts on the Pixel 6 Pro. Now, I kind of mirror most of the thoughts here in the fact that this device is pretty solid, but also has some issues. And uh, I kind of agree with all the sentiments. Now, I think, look, if you're using this device in the day to day, you will find it quite useful. As I mentioned on the strip using uh, the eSIM with Google Fi, it's a very good clean experience and one that I think we need to see on more devices overall. Um, I think the functionality has been great. Uh, also, the cameras are really solid, some really good solid photos as you've seen. Video quality is much improved but can uh, still get better. Now, on the downsides for me, battery life is key. And that's what I mentioned earlier that, look, I just had issues with uh, LTE radios and I got a big battery drain on the trip and also even back here in the States, which wasn't fun. Now the fingerprint sensor also is something I don't like too much just because the implementation just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, it should be much faster, uh, especially 
you know, this day and age. Now, in terms of gaming, which I haven't mentioned in this video, it's something I didn't do on this trip or haven't done much since I've done my gaming video on the Pixel 6 Pro, which you guys should go check out for full details. It's the fact that number one, I can't use my favorite controller here because of the camera hump. And also uh, this device doesn't actually reach max, max potential in terms of uh, playing standard games like Genshin Impact, which you have to go check out to see exactly why, but it just isn't fun for that. But look, besides all that, it still has a lot of good benefits and you've seen them mentioned in this video and I do like what they have to offer. I mean, the display, all that stuff is great. And I think a lot of people will find this device very useful, uh, especially uh, with the price point that you find the Pixel 6 Pro compared to the Galaxies and the iPhones out there. So let me know your thoughts on the Pixel 6 Pro. Um, if you've been using it already for over a month, or if you're looking to pick it up, uh, leave those thoughts down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.